guys, it's me Red. Today I will be doing another types of video. Today I'll be doing types of people you meet at school. Um, these types of videos, they're not meant to offend anybody, okay? I'm just going to say this before I start. They are sarcastic and they are stereotypical. What I mean by stereotypical is they are based on films and movies. As for sarcastic, they're just meant to be funny to make people laugh. So let's get into it and see which people we meet at school number one so okay this is based on my time at school can i just be whether i've nearly been at school for 10 years okay so i'm doing this generally based off of experience so the first person that you can't meet at school is the no talker this is someone who you probably want to be friends with but they don't talk they're just quiet all the time and i know you probably meet these people at school so you try to talk to them and then you say hi then you say hi and then the person's hi and then you're like can you answer and say you just want to start a conversation but they just don't talk the non-talker it happens to me on the first dates at my secondary school it was just so awkward but it happens to the best of us okay then number two so the person that i seem to i didn't befriend them but the person who i met met next was the rebel so this is the person even on the first day of school starts mischief if it's not being horrible to someone or being rude to the teachers or being sarcastic like this video is meant to be you're gonna meet them they're the rebel i mean you won't get through secondary school without meeting the rebel and the rebel tries to test the limits of everyone and everything and in my class there are about five rebels and i happen to sit next to one of them but that is not the point here people Number two is the classic child. So the classic child, I meet a few of these. These are the kind of children, I'm going to do it based on girls, like, you know, the classic, nice, kind and sweet, innocent child. You know, you're gonna meet them. Ones that seem really sweet, and then when you get to know them more, they are actually the most violent person you happen to know, okay? Mm -hmm. This has I, I have been told this, I have been told I am a classic child because I look all sweet and the teachers are always saying how kind I am and everything. And then at the end of the lesson, everyone's just like, that isn't the real you. And I'm like, I know, but if I'm like a rebel, as in number two, I'm gonna get in trouble. So I put on this nice act. Guys, I'm nice in real life, don't worry. Just, just sometimes I can be a bit, um, a bit over the top. The populars, or as I like to call them, the pretties, okay? I know that sounds really weird, but that's why I call them in my head. These are the people who, oh my gosh, for some reason, everyone wants to be friends with them. I don't know why, but everyone just seems to want to be best friends with them because everyone says how pretty they are and they're popular. And Oh my gosh. If you remember my school expectations versus reality video, you see how the populars act. That is the way populars are, people. So, these are people that people just want to be friends with. I mean, generally, they're not, they're not the nicest people to people that are, let's say, classic child. You know, they're not that nice. But if you get on the good side of them, secondary school, it's just going to be like the best year for you. But if you're a classic child like I am, you're still going to be fine. The Mean Girls. These, okay, I know you guys, are, we're not actually having a conversation, but have you guys ever seen the movie Mean Girls? It, there's like parodies all over the internet of it, but it's a great movie. Anywho, so Mean Girls. These kind of are a mix with the populars, but they're not. They're different in some ways. I mean, some populars are really nice and accepting. And as for the mean girls, they're not accepting. They're ruthless and they will do anything to make sure that if you wear glasses, if you are different in any shape or form, you will be judged. These are not the people to be friends with. They're not. I think sometimes in my head, I imagine there's like a bit of a rivalry between the popular pretties and the rebels and 
the Mean Girls. The questioner. This person bothers me. The amount of times I've been late coming home from school because of this person. So this is the person in the most awkward situations or in the most awkward places at the most awkward times will ask a question whether or not it's anything to do with the work. It was like one time at my primary school um, we were doing, it was near the end of the day and the teacher's saying, does anybody have any questions? Nobody puts their hand up. Until the kid in the middle of the room puts their hand up and say, why did you become a teacher? And then we hear the teacher's whole life story. We don't need to go through that. The questioner is just, you're gonna meet them and they're gonna be there. The best friend. Okay, I, I'm basing this on experience. The best friend. On, we have induction day in England, which is where you get a day off from primary school and you go to your new secondary school. And on my induction day, I met my best friend, which was just amazing. But some, sometimes it can be hard. I mean, your best friend is always there for you. Uh, but sometimes you fall out, which happens all the time. I know, I know. But the best friend, it's, it's like when you see somebody else was their best friend you think oh they're unstoppable together you know it's like that was your best friend they're always a nice person and they're always there for you and to be honest if, if you're a classic child your friend's going to fit into the classic child section if your friend's a rebel and you're a rebel you fit into the rebel section it's just the way of the world and you are going to meet your best friend it might not be a best friend that you're going to be best friends with forever but eventually as my dad always says you're always going to have a best friend even if it's me your internet best friend <laughs> the nerd okay i am not judging nerds in the comment section put hashtag geek if you are a geek like i am because i i'm a mix of classic child and the geek okay i am just a nerd i mean that's what i've been called in the past so yeah basically this is someone i think though that if there was ever a mix of someone who was a classic child, a geek, and a pretty, that would be the best person in the whole world because they would just be a mix of everything. The geek is someone that you're jealous of. The teacher says what's a million times 129,000, that's too easy, uh, 1,002,265 times 296. And they put their hand up straight away and say, miss, I know the answer. I don't know the answer because I'm exaggerating but you know that is the kind of person you're jealous of and just thinking how do they do this and it, it just gets confusing and sometimes you are jealous of them and sometimes you think why can't i be like them sometimes i think do the populars ever think like that my guess is no the comedians they're great people to be friends with and they're always just there to make you laugh. I mean, you don't have to be friends with them, but they're there to make the whole class laugh and they're there just to be amazing people. Number 10. Okay, as this is technically my advice for your next year or next school, I know this one might sound a bit stupid, but let's give it a go. You. That's all there is to it, guys. You are your own person and you're so special. Can I just tell you that, okay? I, I feel like I don't tell you guys enough, you know. If you guys, I mean, you guys are brave, okay? Because when I started YouTube, I didn't want to do videos. I was just, and you guys are just so much braver than I am. You're strong and you're amazing. And you're such an impressive person. So when you go to school, don't try to fit into these categories. Be your own person. Because I know that you being your own person is just amazing. And I know every single one that you every single one of you that has subscribed to me on YouTube, I would definitely want to be friends with. Because you're just you. So if you do get put into a category, try to make a difference in that category or make your own up because they all started somewhere by one person didn't they 
so you can be another person who makes their own category and I would love to see that because you guys are your own person you might not be a classic child you might not be a rebel you might you might not be a pretty or a mean girl I hope you mean girls or mean boys for that matter be you because you is just amazing so yeah i just wanted to do this video one so i could put this very special message in here and to do a few updates so a few updates before we end this video is just say thank you so much we're getting so close to 400 redders it's unbelievable and just to say i wanted to thank you guys by seeing how special you are so please don't have a hard time in secondary school or if you move and got don't have a hard time be you because always know that me red agent or one two three four brother i am always here and i at least you know there's one person in this world who knows how special you really are so so thank you so much for watching this video and i really hope you enjoyed it bye for now guys bye reds